What up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be, I think, hopefully, some of the last upgrades I'll be doing on my PC before I start jumping into the sim racing stuff. Um, as you can see behind me, <laughs> the monitor mount still isn't here, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my monitor on this here shelf and uh, just roll with it because I'm, I don't want to wait any longer and I just want to get started. So um, I'm going to be installing a capture card in the Alienware as well as uh, Crucial um, 2.5 inch SSD. So I'm going to be walking you guys through that and then that'll be it. So let's do it. All right, so let me first take you guys through the upgrades we got. So first, Crucial MX500 SSD. Um, let's get this bad way open. So I went for this uh, just to give me a little bit extra storage. And oh my gosh, <laughs> this is not that hard. Okay, there we go. Now we got it. Um, just to give me some extra storage for games. Um, this is going to be a lot faster than my external hard drive I'm using right now. Actually, I think like five times faster. So that'll be nice. Um, a much, <laughs> much needed upgrade to get rid of some of those loading times, loading screens, all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, nothing too crazy here. Um, should just be kind of like plug and play situation, which is same as with this. So this is an Elgato uh, 4K60 capture card. Ooh. And this will um, kind of take the load off my graphics card when it comes to streaming. And uh, I can use this for recording as well. Oh my goodness. I'm very challenged today. Oh, there's a little extra sticky stuff. There we go. Uh, this is the Mach 2. Mark 2, not Mach 2. Um, I just got this refurbished from Micro Center, which is an amazing place. If you guys have never been to Micro Center before, you should really <laughs> check it out because it's fantastic. It has literally anything you could possibly think of in terms of PC supplies. Um, I guess there are other stores like it, not just Micro Center, but you know. Alright, so here it is in all its glory. Uh, this will just slide into one of the PCIe slots. Which I'm thinking there's only going to be one open because of how big the graphics card is. But we will see when we open this thing up. And then these are just, uh, looks like, yes, HDMI, which is nice. Alright, so there we go. So let's, um, let's get this thing opened up and we'll get these both installed. And then we'll check to see they're both running properly. All right, so here we go, guys. Let's get this thing opened up. Uh, I had to switch to the phone because my GoPro battery is low, so this is going to be a little bit... Oh, boy. There we go. It's going to be a little bit harder than uh, it should have been, but it's all right. We'll get this done. So, um, if you guys hadn't seen my last video, opening this thing up is fairly straightforward. This is the only screw you have to take out, which is nice. So take this guy out, give this guy a pop, see if I can do this with one hand. Beautiful. Take the side panel off, and then you are in. So, God, this is going to be awful camera work, sorry guys. So yeah, you see, hopefully you guys can see that one slot is all we got to work with because the other one is a little bit too close to the the graphics card so that's not gonna work so yeah that's kind of what I figured um, and uh, we'll, we'll use this one we'll use this yeah we'll use this bay right here because we can and uh, yeah so let's um swing out the R or should we? No, we'll, we'll keep it in this orientation. It should be alright. Just get both of those locks out and then gently so that you don't kill anything. 
wires, really. Um, swing this guy out. Um, yeah, I can't do this with one hand, so hang on. Alright, you guys can see it a little bit better now, so we're going right in here. Um, the GPU does technically only take up the top two slots. Uh, but if you so sliding these guys out is Oh, this guy doesn't want to come out. Oh, because this is part of the GPU, isn't it? I think that one is part of the GPU. Okay, so normally, right, slide, pop, boom. Yeah, so this one is part of the GPU. Uh, you can kind of see it's... Uh, yeah. I, well... Hmm... I don't know. It might actually fit, guys. Let's give it a shot. Hang on. So I was able to get that one out. It just took a little bit more manpower to slide it out. So let's see if we can slot this guy in. Oh, gosh. This is, this is going to be really sketchy. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. Um... But I'm probably just going to end up moving it down to slot 4 because it just won't be as close to this. Um, yeah, okay, hang on. Okay, guys, that actually slid. Oh, my gosh. Oh, can you guys even see it? I can't see it. <laughs> oh, there she is. Okay, I couldn't tell. Okay, let me... There we go. So... There's next to zero clearance for this guy, um, but it's in, and it's into slot three, which is incredible. I thought there was no way, but it's in, so we can put, oh gosh, put this guy back in, theoretically. Ish. Okay. Well, how about that? That's a good surprise. Um, and that's just plug and play, so I don't have to do anything else to that. It's in there. Now I just have to download software. Um, obviously, you'd be worried about the thermals because of how close it is to the GPU, but I am in talks with EK about um, getting water block installed on this guy and then just doing like an external radiator setup where I take the hoses out through through these two which is why I'm actually really happy I was able to use this because this gives a little more I can just kind of cut this and then run the hoses out through here but that's um that's a long ways away so we'll just have to hope that this works for now all right so for getting this SSD in here we're gonna have to I end up having to unplug the GPU uh, so I could swing the arm out all the way. So we'll get this out of the way. Take this guy out. And then instead of having to deal with the screws, this thing has these nice little, uh, I guess, pins. So I, they just should be able to slide this guy right in. Uh, like so, I believe. Um, I'm going to double check to make sure I have orientation right before I... No, that's that's definitely right. Okay, let me uh, get this oriented and slotted back in, and then I'll get the power cables in. Alright, so slid in. Super easy. Um, I actually did orient it the right way, which is good. Um, and then I went fishing through these cables and was able to find this. So, hopefully that's, it's kind of hard to tell, but it says SATA on it. So, that'll plug in right to the one on the right, because it's a section into two uh, connections. So this is the one that um, should, or is this the one that connects to the motherboard? No, oh, I'm second guessing myself. Uh, give me one second. Alright, so that was definitely the wrong cable. 
this is the right one. Uh, thankfully, since I'm not using the hard drive bay, I can use this from that. So I just need to plug this into one of the SATA ports that's in that bottom right corner and then connect it in here. Uh, and I'm going to do that off camera because it's going to take two hands to get that done. There we go. I should have done this a long time ago, but there it is plugged in right there. And I can officially claim victory over the PC gods because I was able to put that in without taking out the graphics card, which was great. Um, except now I'm realizing, so see how this guy's oriented and see how that guy's oriented. Um, yeah, I'm like the yeah, I'm you know, it's not gonna work, so I have to flip this guy over. Um so as you guys can see it's like this right now. So bada bink. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to actually alright, hang on. Now this will be a piece of cake. We'll just He says, yeah, all right, and then I do believe that this is power, which will slide in right next to it, probably going to need two hands for that, hang on guys. All right guys, so there we have it, another cable mess to add to this lovely cramped case but hey it'll be a nice upgrade and um yeah that's that's all there is to it so all right so now we can um uh, swing this guy back shut making sure we don't get anything pinched like i did before all right and uh once again, I don't think I can, yeah, I can't show you guys and do this with one hand. The side is closed, so now I just gotta plug the GPU back in. And now I can throw the uh, bracket back in as well. So, I can do this one. And we can just put it right back where it was. That's backwards. Okay, let's make some space here. Ah! Yes, okay. I'm gonna have to open up the arm so I can put the bracket back in. Hang on. <laughs> and there we go. So it's a little more crowded down there than maybe you'd like, but our SSD is in. And uh, yeah, we can uh, just close this up. And we're good to go. Alright, guys, so that's the upgrade complete. Uh, now I'm going to run through how to set up the, the new hard drive in Windows 10 for you guys. Uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Not too many steps. Um, as you can see, since I was able to make it here, everything worked out nicely on the upgrade. So, um, yeah, let's just, let's just get into it. I'm going to wait for my display to show up. Um, Alright. So... Hopefully this is clear, but um, you're going to want to go down here and, uh, and search um, dry, uh, create, there we go, create format hard disk partitions. Um, hopefully that's showing up. If you just... Um, Search create and format hard disk in the little search bar down there and then click on it. You'll get a screen to show up. There it is. Let me... It's so weird. Everything's delayed. It's like throwing me off. I'm making sure I'm showing you guys. Okay, so then this will pop up because I just put in the new hard drive. Um, so, don't worry about these two settings. I mean, if you're adding a drive, you're just going to want to make it a GUID. So, um, that's solid. No issues there. Boom. There we go. And then now we see, ah, no, you don't see. Wait for it. 
Oh, it's over here now. It's over here now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't want to move. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So this says it's unallocated for disk one. So I click new simple volume. Da -da -da -da. Volume wizard. All right, and then uh, I'm gonna just use up all volume in this because my external hard drive is gonna turn into a uh, recovery drive after I copy it over to this one, which I'm gonna put in a separate video because that's something I don't know how to do yet. So uh, anyways, you guys don't see the, the wizard up here, but just, um, just start that. So the wizard will pop up, you'll click next, and then you'll create your volume size and uh, you know, I mean you may as well just do the maximum so that's what I'm gonna do here and then okay so now you guys can see it so then you can assign the drive letter um, so I made storage E and then uh, you can make it whatever you want so I'm gonna make it uh, oh I don't know uh, let's go D <laughs> and then hit next and then you can like name your volumes and all that good stuff um, I don't know but it doesn't really matter too much uh, that's fine I don't even know uh, we'll just keep a new volume oh wait actually I think we're gonna, this is like the name that shows up. We'll call this games. I think because that's gonna be the actual name of the. Yes! Okay, I was right. <laughs> Lucky guess. So, yeah, when you uh, name the volume, that's what's gonna be the like overall name of the, the drive. So, making it games. And then this guy. Um, as you can see, I just for some reason didn't do the whole drive, of all of the volume in the drive. Um, yeah, but I'll copy over what's on there to new drive, and then this will all just become recovery space uh, in case some random upgrade I do down the road blows everything up. <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't happen. But um, yeah, that's it. So your drive is set up, and then now I can just open up. I gotta wait to make sure you guys catch up. Um, if I open up File Manager, this PC, boom. Um, oh my gosh, it's not even showing it. There we go, this PC. You can see we got our games drive, and it's empty. But it won't be much longer, so there you go. That's how you guys do it, pretty simple. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.